Brian from iSpring again. This time we'll cover partial answers. To allow partial answers, go to the quiz properties, question defaults, and select this option here. The other types of answers that QuizMaker accepts are correct and incorrect. Most graded questions are compatible with partially correct answers. The way to tell for sure is if the partial option is enabled, like for this multiple response question. As you can see, it's possible to configure custom feedback and branching for partial answers here. To enable or disable partial answers for any particular question, go to its options and toggle the defaults like this. As you can see, allowing a partial answer disables the penalty option because you are assigning partial credit instead of deducting. Partial credit is calculated using this formula, the number of points for the question, divided by the number of possible correct answers, times the number of correct answers given. That means each correct answer is worth P over C. This question is worth three points, and the number of possible correct answers is also three, so each correct answer is worth one point. One more cool thing I'd like to show you is how this works with hotspot questions. If the student selects just one of these acute angles, she'll get a partial credit of five points, since the question is worth 10 points and there are two hotspots. Get it now? I don't know about you, but I'm particularly partial to partial credit. Thanks for watching.